This is a tutorial on a jukebox OpenAI. This is uh, for um, generative uh, music, um, which they have done on many types of um, different musics and um, and so on. So I will be showing on how to set this experimental OpenAI technology onto your server. And this is the um, video that I used where I used a sample and piece. So I'll be showing you how you can create your own music. And this is the uh, source code. So the uh, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have a server. Um, it has to have at least a graphics card and a reasonable amount of RAM. I would say probably around a minimum of 64 gigabytes. Um, 32 would probably work with one card, 64 for two cards. Um, if you do more than that, I'd recommend more RAM because I noticed when I used uh, four V100 cards, it used quite a lot of memory, up to 120 gigabytes. Uh, but for this tutorial, I'm actually going to be using a lower um, card which won't work with the 5B model, which I showed in the example, but it'll work with the 1B model. I will be using the um, GTX 1080 instead, which works too. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to um, cd into the directory. Shim already in it. So, um, so this is loading the um, the OpenAI technology onto the server. You want to start off with this. You want to create the jukebox folder. But I'm going to need to set up other things to get this to work. And. Um, you're going to need these two files. You have to navigate down to here. Right here, you're going to install this one. And you're also going to need this as well. Uh, this one right here. You want to install this one as well. So after you have these two um, these two things installed, install this one right here. And just hold enter, skip through the agreements. Click enter. Now you can see the server is 250 gigabytes of RAM, which is a bit overkill. I don't need that much for this two graphics card, but it just came with it. So I wanted to uh, type in yes, and um, that will initiate it. So now it's right here. So so you know you want to log into root. Okay, that's the wrong password. I want to cd to the main directory, and uh, I'm going to want to um, now install this one. I'm going to skip through the agreement again. This will install directly to the root directory, which is what you want. I want to initiate this as well. Now you're going to want to um, navigate to the uh, jukebox. I want you to go to the directory first. Okay, so now I'm inside of this. So I'm gonna now want to, um, hmm. not sure why it's not working. Okay, so the mistake was, um, all right, is you actually want to be in the directory of the jukebox um, as the um, administrator, so, so it should work now. Yeah, a flexible solve on this will will work. So what I want to do is you want to just type yes, and all you do now is you just have to activate this. So now I'm going to have to install the other things on the GitHub. It's right here. So here I've already done this one right here. So this is not necessary. I'm already in Jukebox. Let's so all put that in. Uh, next, you want to do this. Proceed, yes. I noticed that there was a YouTube video about someone who tried to do an installation attempt and failed. And um, 
I had someone install this for me on one of my other servers, but then I decided to try to figure it out on my own. I uh, wish, you know, it took me a while because I didn't really know much about Ubuntu and stuff. And I had to learn the, um, the commands and this and that. It's been a while since I've used Ubuntu. Um, I think I've used it a couple years ago, but not that much. Usually I you do mostly Windows, so I'm learning other stuff as well. This just takes a, a few moments to install, so. Uh, now that's done, all I need to do is I just need to do this. I believe that's everything. Um, oh yeah, I need to install these two things as well. Same thing with this. You might think, oh no, it failed, but it's just makes you think it failed, but um, the flexible solve actually works, so. Yes. All right, I think that's um, everything. And now I'm going to have to upload a sample piece to the server to show that. So uh, for this purpose, I'm going to be using a Rick Ashley um, sound. It doesn't really matter which one it is. It'll actually work with anything or even random noises. Um, but this is just to show that you could use it with musical pieces and um, it will actually prime the model with that and it will actually um, continue that. So this is the file I'll be uploading. So here it is. So now I'm going to throw this into the model. Uh, I want to do for 1B lyrics because um, the cards are not 16 gigabytes, doesn't have enough video memory to do the other model. Okay, so the Rickroll video is about 3 minutes and 30 seconds. So I want to put it for 210 seconds, the total sample length. I uh, primed just the beginning part of it, just the first 6 seconds or so, and then make the sample length 8 seconds. So it takes the first six seconds, it primes in the model, and just adds two more seconds to that, to the beginning of the um, Rick Astley. So you want this one right here to um, be this one right here, and this one right here, basically load the uh, sample PY. Uh, this is basically the length of the, uh, the total length, so it's about that long. And I'm just putting the first six seconds of it with a two second extension. You can also see in the GitHub too, in the examples, this is basically just the um, audio file, standard, and uh, this will create basically three of them in parallel. And now it does in chunks, so one, two, three is basically the same duration, but if you go four, that's two chunks. So it's either three, six, or nine, and the mode is primed. So we put this in. Uh, this takes quite a long time to load. Um, in my experience, depends on the parameters, um, but it could take um, I think about five or ten minutes or so. So I'm going to skip ahead. Also you'll notice that the download's pretty high. So um, you're going to want a fast um, connection to your server um, for this. So you can see that it's actually uh, running right now. Um, I didn't use too much, um, only 16 gigabytes, but I know the other model like the 5B would use a lot more um, memory which uh, it used up to 64 or 128. Uh, the 28Ti, the other card, those will be faster in the 1B model. Also, you can use on other cards too, like a 1080 will work as well. But like if you want to start generating this with like four V100s, um, they will use up to 120 gigabits of, of RAM. Anyways, uh, I'll show you the files that it generates. Uh, Yeah, it's finished now, and I called it the uh, music, so it'll be in this folder right here, the jukebox. It'll be this one right here, and you got level 0, level 1, level 2. 0 will be the um, the process one at the top of that, and um, there are three different WAV files. These are the three different samples, so I'm going to be going over the three samples to show what it produced. So I'm downloading these files to my computer so I can um, play the files. 
Uh, so these the these are the three files. This is the original one I upload to the server, and these are the three files it generated. So I'm just gonna open these up. So this is the the generated part, and I'll load up the other examples. And I'll try this one here. And I'm going to show you some of the ones I did on my other server using the V100s on the uh, 5B models to show what it can do. Now the beginning part of it, um, actually that was also generated by another one and I just cut that out of the generated one and it just stuck it at the beginning of this file and then it just generated based on that because I found it you know, a little bit interesting so I just wanted to see a continuation of that. I created many different variations. So um, you can basically generate um, new types of music or experiment or um, interest in different types of things with this open AI technology. Hopefully with this tutorial, um, I made it more easily accessible to the, or at least the average folk can understand to some degree and how to set that up. I was watching another video. So this is the video that I saw where the person who tried to install it, but he couldn't actually get it to work and he wished it was more accessible. So I basically showed a how to basically do it and uh, I might be making more videos in more depth. Um, I will s be uploading more of the generated music that I've made with the OpenAI um, Jukebox technology. I created some that's like two minutes long. Um, uh, of course, you know, if you go too long, not really continuing the original one, can be two several other merged ones. Quite interesting actually uh, what happens. But I'll be definitely be uploading a bunch of music that's um, in my first video that I upload to the channel and for more content, more interesting stuff like this. And uh, I'll upload more of these um, interesting um, music that I had created. So I hope this tutorial helped out. If you uh, like this tutorial, please leave a like. Thanks.